there's a big difference in what you experience through your own experiments and you have discovered in comparison to what you have heard about or you read about or you've seen in TV or uh, on internet. Knowing is a direct experience. It's something that you have experienced yourself and you have discovered firsthand. Knowledge is borrowed information. Now, if you dig into yourself and your life and your belief system and check in to see what is it you really know in this life. What have you learned? And you distinguish the difference. And you start to cutting the fat out, starting to take out knowledge. Then you may be surprised to find out how little we really know, yet it may be enough to carry on, but the rest of what, what we think we know is just simply borrowed information, and that's all. I'm just going to use an example, and uh, it, is, it could sound a little bit silly, this example, but just bear with me and hang in there. For example, in the 21st century, there's barely, very little, most humanity believes that the planet Earth is round. And of course, uh, if somebody comes and says, no, the planet Earth is flat, that person will be ridiculed. So, but how do we know if I'm to be honest with myself and I'm going to examine and how do I know the planet Earth is, is round? I never got into a space shuttle to get out of the Earth atmosphere or go into the space to be able to take a look and see whether the planet Earth is round or flat. In fact, very little number of human beings been able to get out of, uh, get into the space and examine that for themselves. Or, I've never walked around the planet Earth, so physically examining, examining it that, okay, I'm just going to go walk around planet Earth and starting from this point, which I'm in Los Angeles right now, and go around the planet and come back to this same point. Um, and I don't know of anyone who's done it. So, it's not my direct experience. I have not discovered that for myself. So, I'm simply accepting the information which is being presented to me. So, from childhood, when I went to school, they told me planet Earth is round. They've shown me pictures of it. Uh, there's plenty of footage from NASA and other space agencies that they give us this information that the planet Earth is round. But that's not my own direct experience. I haven't discovered that for myself. So I'm just using this as an example. So when we're, I'm reading, I'm getting information about different subjects, whether it's medicine, it's science, um, whatever that is. Did I really come to this understanding and by myself? Or this is some, something I have read. And I'm simply, simply accepting the information that I'm getting as truth, but I don't know it myself. I have no idea if it is true or not, because I didn't go through it. 
So my, my, my suggestion to you is that you are on this self-realization path. You are seeking. And the number one thing is really to do reflection within ourselves to see, okay, what is it I'm really looking for? What am I seeking? And somebody may say, well, I want self-realization. I want to awaken. I want to become one with God and then be able to help other people. Uh, I'm looking for love. I'm looking for inner peace. I had a very rough childhood and I'm dealing with a lot of emotional issues because I was raped or beaten up or abandoned or have problems trusting and I need to work on that. Um, someone else may be interested in somehow creating a system that they can manifest and find their soulmate or, or increasing their wealth. Whatever, I don't know what your reasons are. Maybe someone has physical issues and they're hoping they can find a way to heal themselves or we have different reasons that we come together. But at the core of this is that each and every human being on this planet basically wants to be happy. Everybody wants to be happy. And everybody wants to be loved and accepted. Now, you may have a wicked way to have happiness, to reach it, or being loved and accepted. But basically, uh, happiness is something everyone's looking for. Satisfaction or inner peace. I discovered that Back into what I originally started to explain to you is what do I do and what is this work about is, is an exploration of the inner world. And through questioning it, through doubting things, through trying to figure it out as and then as an experience and experimenting not to believe in anything that I have not discovered being open to suggestions and discovery of other teachers uh, other literatures whatever is giving me a clue but not blindly following it it must be my own direct experience so it has value. Otherwise, it becomes a belief and it's shaky. It's not rooted in strong foundation. You have to discover the truth for yourself through a direct experience. Any other teachings or methods is not serving us. So we need to be very clear about that. For example, religion is about belief. It's not about doubt. It's about believing in something. But what I teach and share is similar to science. Science is based on doubt. You're doubting things until it's proven otherwise. And the same way is here. You want to doubt the teachings until you have discovered it for yourself. And it's your direct experience. The difference between this and science is science is exploring into the utter world. And my teaching is about exploration of the inner world. 